the first step now is to calibrate the compass because you need compass degrees in order to set your direction of fire and set your wind direction. First, we're going to hit the settings button, which looks like a gear, and we're going to go to the main menu, and we're going to scroll down until we get to system. Um, there's several ways to get to the compass cal, but we want to go to system, compass cal, and you'll see it says to hold the Kestrel upright and turn it three times. So what we need to do is get a flat surface um, away from any metal if possible. So you'll notice that it says hold Kestrel upright, rotate three times slowly around 10 seconds a turn. Now it may be six to eight seconds gives you a little better performance, but we just want to rotate it uh, upright in place and count the turns. You'll see it says zero one turn. And as we turn this, we want to make sure we don't dip any lateral or vertical movements in the unit that could cause a compass disruption. And as we turn it, you'll notice that it says one turn complete two turns complete. I think you're supposed to sing right round baby right level. <laughs> That's as much as I can sing before uh, our legal team needs to come in. <laughs> so once we have that, we'll see it says calibration complete. And now we know that the compass has been calibrated. So you may get a warning it was too slow or too fast. Just redo it. It should take, uh, it may take a little bit of a learning curve to get the right turn rotation, but after three turns, we have our ca compass calibrated and we're ready to move on to the next step. And how long around? Um, about five to ten seconds each revolution? Yeah, so I recommend usually six to eight. And the um, instructions say ten. I just get a little better performance doing a little faster than ten seconds, but each one's a little different, so it may take a little bit of finagling to get that right uh, timing. But once you have your compass calibrated, you do not need to calibrate it again for different locations. The only time you need to do it is if you took the batteries out or if you upgrade your firmware. All right, thanks for watching. My name is Langdon. This is Joe. We're from Nielsen Kellerman. To find out more, visit our website where you can see uh, different accessories that we have, download the manuals, anything else that you need with your Kestrel. It's all on there. Thanks for watching.